and action. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't hit three cars. <laughs> we didn't hit three cars. Take two. We are in complete darkness. Electric's gone again. The electric just goes. <gasps> I don't know what to do with myself. Typical woman, I've managed to be here like two minutes and I've completely destroyed the place already. But this is the room. There's obviously my bags there. My mum is joining me tonight, so we're gonna share this lovely double bed. It is absolutely boiling in here. Like it's like 30 degrees. The view is of a nice little courtyard thing with a plastic bag there. Lovely, lovely. Sun's out, gun's out, and then this is the bathroom. Now this is a pretty cool room, this is. I love the colour. Um, just, oh hello, check them abs out. That's Kilimanjaro though. <laughs> um, yeah, I've already christened the toilet. Sorry dad and uh, anyone else watching, but yes, I have christened it. Have to christen the hotel room toilet when you get there. I'm gonna explore the area a little bit. Um, it's honestly so odd. I don't know what to do with myself. And then hopefully get a little bit of a tan because I haven't been out in the sun. I'm so pale. Okay, hair plaited. I'm ready to go. Then we'll get what you expected. Great. Right. So really? We'll wash it and keep it, all right? Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Jumbo! Jumbo. Jumbo, jumbo. Yes. Yeah. We are staying in a place called Kasuku. There's just a random fridge there. <laughs> Kasuku Villa. It's really lovely. I'll um, do a tour of it. But this is the little courtyard with a nice little roof. Now this, Mambo, is the bedroom. My mother arrived last night. We went to bed. Now remember how I said that uh, when I entered it was like two minutes and I destroyed the room. Well, mother has decided to also just plant her seed. Oh look, look she's got the wine going on there. Look. Brought the wine with her. Where are you hiding? Ah, oh, the mother! She has arrived! She has got her wonderful Tanzanian attire. Yes. She's bought a little bit too much, I think. Yes. Um, but yeah, as you can see, typical women, we've just decided to wreck the place. Uh, did you sleep well for your first night, I mother? Slept like a baby. Like a wee baby. Like a wee baby. We're going to go to the beach today. Mum looks brown. She's only just got here. I'm so confused. Yesterday, so this is the thing with Zanzibar, is you don't realise how strong the sun is. So I literally was out for an hour yesterday just for a walk and this happened. Ja, ja, ja. Um, so yeah, got to put the fact 50 on. Also, <laughs> mosquito bites, oh my god. Let me show you my mosquito bites. Wait for it. God, I'm just so attractive, aren't I? Check those bad boys out. Yeah, bring mosquito repellent. Good morning, cruel world. Ooh, 
Good morning world. So it's about nine o'clock in the morning um, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you around the villa a little bit, the Kasuku Villa. Um, um, and we're going to stay in Stone Town today, so that should be fun. It's the first time we've done anything. Jambo. Jambo. It's the first time we've done anything um, since we've been here because I say done anything, like done a tour, because the last three days uh, Mum and I have been either drunk or hungover. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we just we haven't been able to do any tours because we've just been having too much fun, and I haven't filmed any of it because when I was drunk, I was worried about dropping the camera, and when I was hungover, well, I didn't really want to use the camera. So, <sighs> it's been great. It's been an absolutely amazing experience. I mean, it's the best food I've ever had. That's for sure. Now everything that is in here, all the decorations, everything's been handmade and uh, the owner that owns the place, obviously, um, makes everything from like recycled um, rubbish thing. Rubbish that he finds on the beach and makes everything. It's just pretty cool. So as you come in, we've got the bed area. This is where they play this game. God knows how they play it. I, I still have no idea because they're trying to help me. Apparently it's like giraffes, but I don't know how to play that either. Um, this is the restaurant. So this is as you're walking in as well. Now, I um, kid you not, this bloke, right, this isn't some kind of weird advert thing on YouTube. This bloke is insane. And as it says right there, the taste of your life, ask him and his mum. Floor sand, which is lovely. You do walk around barefoot the whole time, really, but because we're going on a tour today, I've put shoes on for the first time in the last few days. Nice little where are you? That's where the kitchen is, where they do the fabulous cooking. And there's the room. Obviously, as I've said, we haven't done much filming recently because we've been slightly drunk or hungover. Oh, everyone, this is my mother. <laughs> Do you want to introduce yourself? Hello, I am Mother. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're still hungover. Yeah, I'm still hungover. Um, we've, it's had, fine. we've had a lot of drink um, the last few days, and we just want to talk about our, our near death experience. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is going to be a nightmare. We had a near-death experience two nights ago. We're still getting over it. On the way, we was on the way back from the bar, and uh, it was two o'clock in the morning. And our taxi went. He was on the highway, and he went straight into three cows. Smashed straight into it. Them. Um, it was awful, wasn't it? It was like those cows. You know when you move them up and they go... Mm -hmm. That's what the cows... <laughs> <laughs> the cows like. <laughs> That's what the cows sounded like as it... As it, the three cows hit the... Hit the it's like the, it was like the one cow was trying to tell the other two cows... <laughs> to don't, to back off. don't come out here! Yeah, don't come out here because like this is not a safe place. Now, this is the thing, we're, we're mortified because we, we mortified. don't... You know, we don't want to kill any cows. Mm. Um, oh, it was awful. The car was all smashed up. We, unfortunately, we were quite drunk. Um, so, so I had the hysterical, nervous fits, laughing thing going on. Mum decided to document the thing on her phone. That video will never go out anywhere <laughs> because it's so bad. I was a journalist. Um, yes, you are a journalist. I was. I'm a journalist. journalist. And um, yeah, oh, there was just, oh, it was, it was awful. 
Um, but anyway, we're, we're glad to be alive. We feel like Ross in Friends, don't we? Funny thing is, though, the, of the amount of villages that were surrounding us on the road, and then all of a sudden it's gone viral, and everyone in Zanzibar knew that we were the cow killers. Yeah, everyone knew. Everyone knew. Everyone we've spoken to have been like, oh, so you're the women that killed the yeah. cows. Yes. Oh, God. Um, so, yeah, anyway, moral of the story is... Um, watch out for cows. Watch out for the cows. And... We're very sorry for the cats. Um, see you. So mum is very happy because she's finally found her hat. She's been wanting a hat for so long and she has now finally got her hat. So we're currently in Stone Town with the best guide in the world. Hello. Here he is. <laughs> We've been having a, just a little walk round. Uh, look at this, look. Oh, look at the mango, look at that. Um, we've just been having a little walk around town and there's, there's just shops everywhere. I mean, so many people are selling so many different things um, and it's hard to say no because they all want you to go in. Oh no, oh my God, no thank you. Um, so mum's just bought a lovely little sign and uh, I'm looking for a ring but I haven't found anything yet. <laughs> So we are currently now waiting in the car, in the car park, obviously, um, to get out and the woman, bless her, she's really busy so we are currently sat in an oven and loving the heat, loving the sweat Just dripping say, down our face. if you buy place. a gift, always go half of what they Yeah, do. I was going to say, so um, they say when, you, when, when they're trying to sell you something they'll give you a price. Is that focusing? When, um, people try and sell you something they'll give you a price and they say you should go like a third down so if it's like 40,000 shilling which equates to about $20 then you go like the third of that and you work your way up because they'll always do that like every single time I've, I've gone all the way down they'll, they'll always accept it so you just have to have balls and just do it otherwise you will spend a lot of money because it will be very expensive so you need to get your barter balls out <laughs> that is so cool you hot, Mum? Just, I've just put water on my head, so no, I'm not hot. Go on, for the benefit of the lovely viewers. What? Do you want to try it again? Well, it's not difficult, is it? It's just like, you know, if you're hot, you just want to tip the cold water onto your head. Like... <laughs> this guy, how on earth is he getting that much stuff on that bike? I do not know. Whoa. Jesus. 